Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. And uh, guys, this time, I'm going to show you guys how I do it fast. Get you that real quick. Paint correction. Now, this hood is really faded. Okay, that's why I picked this hood, man. Now, I know you're going to have me run into some cars that's been sitting up, sitting around. You might even buy one. You might even buy one that's been sitting up, sitting around, and paint has dulled down on it or whatever. And you don't have all those fancy DA polisher or rotary buffers or whatever, whatever, cutting pads and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of times, guys, all that stuff ain't needed when you're doing paint corrections, but people won't tell you that. Uh, a lot of times you can use aggressive products, let's say like polishing compound, which is how the polish and the compound all in one product. You could top it off with a finishing wax of any kind, basically, as long as it protects your work. Okay? So, uh, no further ado, man. I just want to show you what we're working with. Working on the old hood here. As you can see on one of my old cars. It really is faded, oxidized, or whatever you might want to say. But we're going to work from this scene right here. From this scene on back. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you a fast paint correction. It can be done by hand. Now, this if you ain't got all the DA polisher, rotary buffers, and all that kind of crap. You don't have no cutting pads. You might be just a beginner starting off. Uh, you might have some polishing compound laying around in the garage or something like that. And this is just for beginners. You know, it's something you're trying to get the job done fast, quick, in a hurry. To get your car looking better. Like I said, you might have bought this as a cash car. You might have just gotten it. You know, I'm just using it for example. This could be a cash car. You might have paid $800 for it. But the paint needs some work done too. Alright, so here we go. Here we go. First thing, we're going to start out with the polishing compound. Because this here, this going to get you there fast, man. A little bit. Like I said, we're working from this seam right here on back. See the seam? That's where we're going to work from, the seam on back. So paint correction can be done by hand. You got applied pressure. And I'll tell you guys this. This is for people who don't have all that fancy machinery and pads and all that crap. It's not needed. It's really not necessary. You know, in all cases, you know. Okay. I'm gonna come on down with it. Right here. And this stuff is pretty aggressive. But it get the job done fast. Then that's what you want. Get the job done fast. Okay. As you can see, the oxidized paint surfaces has come up. All right, that's oxidation. So we're gonna take this clean microfiber and we're gonna buff it back off. Okay, what you have done here, you took off a layer of oxidized paint and you polished it all at the same time. Okay. You done the whole nine right there. Okay. See that? Now, you already see your improvement. <laughs> see that? You see the improvement right there with just a polishing compound. So paint correction can be done by hand. It might be a little bit slower, but you don't care. Time is all you got when you're trying to get your ride right. You know. And guys, there's the front of my detail shop. Right there. That's why I work in sometimes. If you can see that. Looks good, doesn't it? That's my old 64 Chevy. 
That's my old Mercedes Benz right there. Okay. Now, guys, you done that and took everything down. Now you get you some finishing wax. Okay. Get you some finishing wax. Spread it up there. If you got any kind of wax to work, I'm just using the McGuire's here because uh, it's a finishing wax. And uh, here we go. Spread that round. Keep it in straight lines, guys. Don't use circular motions. That puts swirls in your paint. Okay? Spread it around just like this. Straight lines. Just work it. Work it in there. This gonna protect your work. Okay. This gonna protect all that hard work you put into it. Okay. Alright, as you can see, <laughs> some of the paint surfaces are still coming off, even with the finishing wax. It's cutting it down smooth. Now, we're going to take that, and we're going to buff that back off. Here we go. Now, you could do this a couple times, you know. Let's keep waxing it and whatever, whatever, till you get it like you want it. Okay. Okay. Check that out. See that? That's a fast way for paint correction. Look at this side of the hood. Now this is truly faded paint. <laughs> at its best. This is faded paint at its best. You see that? But look at the part I did. See what I mean? Look at there, man. Let's come back on it. See what I mean by fast paint corrections done by hand? Look at there, man. Like I said, that, 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 that hood is very faded, very oxidized. See, I just done this video to show you guys what a truly oxidized paint surface is. Look at there. That's truly oxidized. So a lot of people don't know what paint correction really is. They're working on something that's already shining, you know. <laughs> a truly paint correction. A true paint correction is this. Something that's already faded down. No shine. All the oxidized paint surfaces that's there. You see it, guys. This is true paint correction at its best. Look at there. You can see, oh man, that looks good. That's just one pass at it. Look at there. Applicator full, all the oxidized paint surfaces. This product here will get you there fast. This is it. That white's number seven. You want fast paint correction? This stuff right here will get you there fast cuts fast. Look at her. Let's step back and look at her from a distance. Look at her. Now, anybody can tell me that paint correction can be done by hand. It can. It can be done by hand, guys. And you see that. Now, it might be a little bit slower. But time doesn't matter if you're trying to get your ride together. No, time doesn't matter. You know, you want your stuff to look good, this is the way to go. 
All right, so God, I hope this helps. This is a fast way to get your paint back together, paint correction. Uh, God, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, guys, take care, man. This is the fast way, and you see it. It looks good. It looks way better than that. And I didn't put much effort in it. Just using that number seven polishing compound and the finishing wax. All right, guys, I'm out. Peace.